and welcome to the Vigilante Dialogue. I am your host, Shana Smith, welcoming you to the National Boardroom. The objective of our program is to talk about community issues and affairs, and not just complain about the problems, but to focus in on the solutions. The last time we were here in the boardroom, it's been a while, we've had some scheduling stories, but we had a special going on calling this call, called the Situation Room. And I want to thank my guests, Elton Cowood and Sam Henry, for being here. We talked about the 2011 speech from the throne and some of the objectives that the government had laid out, as well as the update that we received from the Premier in his 100-day report. So I'm glad to announce that every first Thursday, the Vigilati Dialogue will be turned into the Situation Room. And we will have guests on talking about current affairs in our community. And we're encouraging you to mark it on your calendars and to be calling in when we get through. This program is sponsored by Clover Store and Smith & Associates, and we're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back with our next conversation. Welcome back. You're tuned in to the Vigilati Dialogues. I am your host, Shana Smith, and with me this evening, I have to say welcome back Thank <laughs> to <you>. Dr. Cindy <laughs> George. So we can talk tonight about Mental Health Month. I don't know mm -hmm. how many people are aware that May is Mental Health Month here right. in the Virgin Islands. Actually, is it an international... Yes. Event? Not just here. Okay. In so we recognize it here in the Virgin Islands. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to talk again some more about our mental wellness, yes. which I'm happy to do. So we're going back on the couch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> For another session. For another <laughs> session. But since the last program, um, I know you've been active. I think I heard something about a new program that you have. So uh -huh. tell us a little bit about what you have been up to. Keeping us healthy yes. as Virgin Islanders. Yes, yes. Well, you know, when I was here the last time, I indicated to you that my whole purpose of really returning back to the Virgin Islands is just really to be a resource. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've really been, in addition to my practice working with um, in, in the private setting, I've also been trying to do a lot of community community work. Um, you know, and so I've done a few uh, presentations okay. uh, in, in the community, and I think that it's important to just dispense information. Yeah. Because education is very exactly. important. Exactly, and very I think important. education is key because once you educate persons about things, they can make informed decisions. They can recognize um, how their health yes, is going, yeah. how their mental health is going, and so those are some of the things that I've been doing. Uh, and now you mentioned a new program. Yes. Are you speaking about on the radio? Oh, my radio program. Yes, yes. radio program. <laughs> you know, I haven't. Well, heard you it. have multiple. <laughs> okay, she's I gonna, heard she's it gonna reveal as we go along. <laughs> yes, yes, I have a radio program coming up mm -hmm. on June fourth, mm -hmm. and it will be aired uh, every first and third Monday of the month. I'm very excited about that. It's mm -hmm. going to be um, a very um, innovative radio program, and my, my hope and my goal is to really uh, provide the listening audience with information mm -hmm. that's going to be helpful for them to live their lives. Uh, the radio program is called Living Well with Samarj, okay. and that's exactly what I want the show to do, mm -hmm. to help people to live well. And it's just not going to be for one set of, of, uh, popula one set of population. It's going to be for children. It's going to be for parents. It's okay. going to be for couples and okay. families. Basically a cross-section. Exactly. Okay. You know? And we want to touch on all of the issues. And I hope people tune in. I mm -hmm. hope they call in. Mm -hmm. Because the goal is not just for me to be there and yeah. talk, talk. Yeah. But, but to interact. Exactly. Okay. To have that interaction. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Uh, my, my new radio program is coming on on Mondays. Um, starting June 4th on ZBVI. And what time? It's going to be in the mornings oh, from okay. 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Okay. So it's going to be a half hour, mm -hmm. half hour show. But I think even in that half hour, we can get something done. Okay. And uh, I encourage people to listen because I think it will be very, uh, very helpful, okay. very beneficial. Yes. Yeah. And I Thanks. think I ran into you at the Shape Up Easter mm, program. Yes, that was back in... April, I think. Or yeah, because I actually yeah. had the organizer, Stephanie George Bruley. Mm -hmm. Bruley George, sorry. Bruley um, George. She was on mm -hmm. promoting the, um, yes. the program, mm -hmm. and it, it seemed mm -hmm. to have been very successful. Yes, actually, I did go to that. Uh, she invited me to come, and I just, you know, went ahead and did that, and I spoke about self esteem and self confidence. 
and okay. I spoke to the young ladies about the difference because I know a lot of times we lump the two together and we don't recognize there is a difference between self-esteem and self-confidence okay. exactly self-esteem is our worth how we feel about ourselves am I worthy am I even worthy to be talking to you right now yeah. am I even worthy to have a television uh, program yeah am I worthy to be loved mm -hmm. okay and self-confidence is your ability to do something I'm confident that I can pass that exam. Okay. I'm confident that I can be a good parent. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, so that's the difference between your self-esteem and self-confidence. And so I presented on that uh, to, the, to the young ladies at the uh, Shape Up Easter program, and I think it went over went over very well. So that was one of the things that I've, I've been doing, mm -hmm. and um, just really um, going to try to be doing some more uh, uh, presentations in the community workshops. I know I have some group sessions coming up yeah. and, and so forth. So just really trying to just get it out there, uh -huh. get it out there and be a resource uh, for the community. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And if any, well, we're going to give you a contact information mm -hmm. so that if anyone wants to mm -hmm. call on you as a resource person, because mm -hmm. that, that's what you are. That's what I am. Make yeah. yourself available. That's why I'm here. Exactly. All right. Well, Mental Health Month. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long have we been um celebrating this here, you um, know, do you know? Well, I, I, mean, I know that um, mental health awareness started uh, almost 50 years ago, uh -huh. back in 1949 or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's been a while, and um, you know, the whole goal of, of mental health awareness is exactly that word, mm -hmm. awareness. You know, bringing people to a place where they recognize and they identify and can be aware of what mental health is. Yeah. And, and also to not just for individuals, but for families and communities. Mm -hmm. And I know some of the, th the, the there are two themes this, this year, and they focus not just on the individual, but on communities as well. Uh -huh. And so, you know, the goal of this whole mental health awareness is simply that you have your health, you have your physical health, and just what yeah, I this is what we talked about, about the last time. The last time. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, and I, I liken it to your physical health so much mm -hmm. because it's your body, it's your whole person. Yeah, it's, it's all body. a part of part of exactly. who you are. And you know, whenever I explain to persons, I always go back and I say, you can you do this for your physical, you want to do it for your mental as well, mm -hmm. because it's it's your it makes up your your person, mm -hmm. your whole person. Yeah. And so that was the goal um, behind this whole mental health awareness. But it's um, it's been going on for a while. I'm not sure how long we've had it here in the BVI, mm -hmm. uh, honestly speaking. But yeah. um, it, it's been out for some time. For some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noted that in the information that you sent me as mm -hmm. far as the, the organization Mental Health mm -hmm. America, mm -hmm. that they've been promoting it since 1949. Yeah. So yes, they have been yeah. around a while. Yeah. Um, but I think too, it's one of those things that we really take for granted, like we were speaking about mm -hmm. in terms of, we think of it, okay, this is just another month on the calendar, yeah. you know, and it comes and goes. But in terms of it becoming something that's uh, every day, mm -hmm. something for us, or something that we think about mm -hmm. more frequently, right. that um, we give it the attention that it deserves. Because I think we really do take it for granted. Yeah. And uh, one of the things I know they, you know they were talking about in America, they feel there is basically a mental health crisis mm. because of the amount of disorders and the over a quarter of the population, you know, they're saying has some type of, of mental health disorder. Mm -hmm. And again, we try. We think of these things as far as just somebody walking around crazy, or they lost, they had a nervous breakdown. But it's so much more. So tonight, you know, we have a lot of information to dispense. Um, so you guys tune in. We, we're gonna be going pretty fast, <laughs> but you know, really excited in terms of being able to. Again, we're talking about educating people yeah. so mm -hmm. that you you're able, you're armed with information mm -hmm. to go out there and make some some solid decisions. Yeah. And if you or somebody else need the help. You know, you you know more about what your situation mm -hmm. might be and how to go about getting right. treatment. So, exactly. we we have that that before us. So, mental health. What is mental health? Yes. Just to recap, in yeah. case somebody in missed case the last, last time, <laughs> you are on the couch. Yes, but we're on the couch again, <laughs> yeah. and we're defining mental health. Well, in a nutshell, mental health is our psychological well-being. Mm -hmm. Okay, mental health is how we are are mentally as opposed to the physical, mm -hmm. okay? It's, it's the way we um, create ourselves, the way we are ourselves in our mental capacity, our mental state, mm -hmm. okay? Now, mental health can be good or it can be poor or bad, mm -hmm. you know, the, the both ends of the spectrum. Good mental health is where we're really able to enjoy life. 
we're able to cope with what, whatever is happening. Mm -hmm. You know, we may be going through problems at work, but we have the resources within ourselves to be able to deal with that and not to be able to crack under the pressure mm -hmm. or to become depressed or to be able to um, have issues in our, in our private relationships or interpersonal relationships, uh -huh. okay? Yeah. So that's when you have good mental health, you're able to cope with whatever is, is hitting you, whatever is coming at you. Mm -hmm. um, poor mental health is where the opposite, you know, you're not able to deal with those things as adequately as you probably could. Mm -hmm. And those are the times when I would suggest getting outside assistance from someone like myself because then that's when we're able to better cope with these things via another, a, a third party, yeah. like myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the statistics that where we've been repeating, which is one in four, one in mm -hmm. um, and that's part of one of the themes, the themes that they have this year, is that something that we can translate here in our community? As far as saying one in four persons, like I have four people in the studio right now, so there's two other people besides <laughs> us. Yes. So one, one of, of us, us. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna say who, <laughs> you know, may have um, a diagnosable mental disorder. Right. So is that something that we can translate here based on what you've seen in your practice? Well, you know, what I always say is as far as generalization, okay? Mm. We want to look at it not necessarily as we're specifying, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, and the BPI is like this, but on, on a general scope, in, in, okay. in a broader general sense of it, if we look at the, mm -hmm. whole, you know, the whole population, uh -huh. one in four per 